Welcome everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I'm back again with the continuation of this mini album that I'm making for my godmother and for this project I'm actually using the papers from Graphic 45, the Garden Goddess collection. So as you can see I started by taking my photo or choosing my photo and then I picked my papers. So this paper here is from the 12 by 12 pattern and solid pack it's from graphic 45 as well and also from the garden goddess collection and i'm going to use the lovely pattern and as you can see i've just used my chipboard traced around it and now it's all glued on and i'm going to be using my stencil this stencil is gorgeous it's from kaiser craft and it's called fancy flourish i absolutely love this new toy of mine and I'm just using the Rangers Embossing, is it Embossing Ink? Anyway, I'm going to call it Embossing Ink. And then I will sprinkle the, the colour that I chose this time is I wanted to go put a bit more pink into it. And so I will be using the Rangers Love Letters, I think it's called, Embossing Powder. And it was just the added bit of colour that it needed. And then I just take my heat gun and melt all that lovely goodness into my paper I just love embossing I love the magic as it sort of all melts and the pattern and you know or the, the color all forms it's, I don't know there's just so something so satisfying about embossing so there's the finished product and liking how that looks so far I've off camera I did map my photos and also the little uh, journal tag that's there now that journal that I've put next to my mother, or my godmother, it says, let us be grateful to people who make us happy. They are charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Now the reason why I picked that one, that one journaling uh, tag there, if you call it that, is because to me that is my godmother. She is a fantastic gardener. And yes, I am grateful for having her in my life and she just makes me, well, she's always looked after me. She's been like a mother to me in so many ways. I always say I've been blessed to have two mothers in my life. So sorry, I went on a little tangent there, but uh, all I did was, as you could see, I've just picked out some of the garden goddess from the chipboard. It's got the top part, it says garden, and then down the bottom, which I'm going to put at the bottom of the photo, it says goddess. So I just picked up different little embellishments. And something that I like to do is I like to ink everything. <laughs> I like to ink the edges of everything. It's just my go-to. I don't know why, but I just like it. And I guess we've all got our own little, little signature things. And I think that inking must be my little signature brand because I know that I... Well, I lay out or anything doesn't seem complete unless I ink edges. So... You know, we all got our little little things that we like to do. And I'm just going to be playing around. And as you saw from the goddess, uh, the garden goddess sticker sheet, I actually picked out one of the, the, the long stickers, one of the border stickers. And I always, always with stickers, because I change my mind so much, I like to just stick them down onto some scrap cardboard or scrap paper and then that way I can move them around and change my mind and you know I, I don't actually ruin paper like I've done in one of my previous layouts where I just stuck it down and of course changed my mind. So all I'm doing is just sticking everything down. This section actually came together very quickly. It was very easy to do. There's just a little bit of embellishment. But the reason why I chose to ink the edges in blue and my titles in blue is I just wanted to bring more of the blue that was in the photo. As you can see, my son's wearing blue, my godmother's wearing blue. So I wanted to tie in a little bit of that into it. So um that's why I, I did the title in blue so as you can see there was my little flip through i'm making sure everything's coming along and it's time to work on the other side now while i was doing the other side i was always conscious about every time i was flipping it over that i was you know i didn't want my photos upside down on the next page so i'm making sure that the little punch holes for the ring are down the bottom and loving that so that paper was called now let's see if i remember yeah the paper yes it was called fields of flowers gosh my memory is shocking so here i am i'm picking 
working on my second page or the flip side of it and I picked some of the lovely journal cards from Garden Goddess and then I also picked this tag now this one is not Garden Goddess it is from Graphic 45 but it's from Portrait of a Lady and it's that little tag there that I'm going to be using here is my photo for this page and I just want to play around with how I am going to make this little layout work and of course I'm going to map my photo and then I'm going to use my Inca Gold in silver which is silver gold I think it's called and I love this product but it's a little bit hard um, I need someone if someone knows when your Inca Gold starts going a little bit hard how to soften it up because I really struggled in getting my Inca Gold down to the stenciling I managed to do it but it was just a little bit of hard work or I don't know if it's because it's starting to get cold here in Australia it's, we're going into well we're in our autumn going into our winter so I did a bit of stenciling all around and I found that I am using this stencil quite a lot on this layer and I think that's because I like the continuity of all the pages having a similar element to them as as she flips through them if that makes any sense to any of you so as you can see from one of the journaling cards I did a bit of fussy cutting that little gorgeous lady with the flower behind her to me just reminded me of a gardening angel and when I saw that I just can just imagine that my godmother's guardian angel is a gardening angel for some reason I just couldn't get that image out of my brain because she is just a miracle worker in a garden I mean she can uh, I'm not really sure the word but she can bring any plant to life and whereas I can kill them she just resuscitates them somehow <laughs> but anyway I only wish that I had her gardening talent I do have a garden but to me it doesn't come naturally whereas she spends three four hours in her garden every day naturally I'd rather be in my scrap room but it doesn't stop me from trying or having an attempt at a garden it will never be as beautiful or as big as hers but I'm happy with what I've got and maybe as I get older I might spend more time in the garden who knows but anyway I'm just doing some more stenciling and then I decide that I'm going to add a bit more ephemera to my layout look at that gorgeous stencil I just love the gold there and how everything just joins love joins beautifully together so Putting everything back in place, I do believe I adhered everything down off camera and this is the chipboard collection from the Garden Goddess and I chose to use those three little squares and just put them down the bottom there and I do believe that's about it for my layout or might be forgetting something. I know I did another bit of fussy cutting, that lovely flower and that was an extra bit of ephemera that I put down. And then I got out these bow bunny candy dots and I just thought, oh, I'll put one on the tag there. And then, of course, I had to put some more little candy dots everywhere because I thought on this, because it's just going to be out on her shelf somewhere and it's not going to be in a journal book, I can put as much dimension as I wanted. So I added a few more of those lovely enamel dots and that is it. So thank you all for watching and till next time take care of yourselves and please hit that subscription button if you haven't already done so i'm really trying to grow this channel and any feedback that you have for me i would love to hear it and till next time bye everybody